already touched on what EDG's team composition is capable of doing in the way that they've got a lot of front line, they've got a lot of beefiness, and it's very hard to take any of them down. Graves, possible, but there is a flank for Flandre here. Look at this, Cora went back to base to heal here. Both flashes being used by the top laners. Clear Love is going to follow Sue. They should be able to take down this Gragas with the smoke screen. ZZR actually bouncing aggressively forward, but decides Crystal pumps down the sapling. the spell shield. Spell shield might come out shortly, but there's on the hunt. And two Whoa. teleports actually coming in. Crystal is going to be able to buff up his ally slightly. Immediately a flash coming out from Koro. Dev pops to Culling to try to turn around to Snake. But Koro, he's getting locked down. Has to twist the first away. We'll be able to get away with the help of the barrel. And now look at this. Mako, he wants to turn things around. His tank going to be the first target. He will get taken down. EDG slowly turning around this fight. But they have blinking health bars. They should and should be able to continue this chase as Pawn's going to jump in straight back onto Flandre. He gets taken out as well, and EDG turn around that double teleport for themselves. A 4v5, and EDG get two kills onto Snake. A jungle here. Yeah, and the problem is the lane assignment of Snake right now. They've got Rise in the middle lane. He has a teleport. May not be available, but he should be in side lanes. He They're actually be diving. Yep. Yeah, He's in a little bit of trouble here. He's wow. going to get knocked back by Maker here. Thunderlord's going to deal a little bit of extra damage from the Alistar, but Clear Love just pops the collateral damage and takes him down. They're going to get a turret for this as well. Just Alistar things, I think, is safe to say for EDG. That's the turret and the dive. The pressure hasn't stopped there. They're going to continue with this push on towards Crystal here. Pawn going to try and jump in towards the back line here. Parallel Convergence not going to lock anyone down as Ella Forced to flash away. Lots of flashes coming out from EDG as Def gets on towards the back line. He's able to take down Crystal. Fandre oh God, in the alive. middle of five people. And he's going to get taken now. Double kill for Def with a sliver of health. So Engage onto EDG there. Forced to flash away from Koro and actually take control of this pit for a short amount of time. Yeah, so they've got control on the map, but they don't have control of the team fights as Pawn's made his way back in. Got the teleport in, a nice double knockout coming in onto the tank here. He's been exhausted, but still very healthy on this rise. EDG looking to try and collapse inside of this choke point as Death will pick up the first kill here. Tank tries to get onto the back lines of the Lucian, but Death is still once oh, again Def. skirting around with a sliver of health, is able to use that heal to keep himself alive. And EDG pick up two kills for themselves. EDG get a lot of kills, but they have no health remaining. Going for this Baron is a risk against the Tel- wanted this. though. Surprisingly important dragon. Remember, it's damage reduction from turrets. Mm -hmm. EDG want this. They're looking for it. On the hunt, has been popped on the side of Snake, though. But Clear Love, he's found Crystal in a 1 1, misses his ultimate. ZZR is going to be able to save him. They take down Clear Love as Crystal was allowed to live for quite some time. Eventually will fall down as Pod, trying to do some work to the back line the of Death's Snake. alive. As Tank, he is going to get taken down by Death as he gets clustered into the middle of the team. Pod able to pick up the kill onto ZZR finally as EDG. Looking to try and chase on towards the surviving members of Snake. Ella will eventually fall down. And that's four members from the side of Snake that eventually go down to four men strong EDG. Yeah, and they've got a big minion stack in this bottom lane. So this could potentially be the entire game here. Game number one for EDG. And whilst Def does the king's share of damage, all of EDG do their part. And a very successful first game. Only giving over one kill. Scumbag clear love in that last fight. And four members of EDG are going to be able to do their part of taking down the inhibitor turrets and the Nexus turrets. And they finally break the Nexus to take game one in this best of five series against Snake. E